Hello YouTube, today is Monday and that means it's time for another stick trick tutorial video. This week's trick is going to be what I call the deodorant trick. And the reason I call it that is because you're putting the stick in your armpit. So it's like deodorant or something. I know it's kind of stupid but I just thought of it on the spot and I think it works. So that's what we're going to go with for, for now, okay? Unless somebody has a better name for this. Um, so anyway, um, this is basically what the trick is. It's a cycle, kind of like a toss but you're cycling it through your armpits instead. So this is kind of what it looks like at a slow tempo. Just like that. A little bit faster. So that's the trick. So now that we know what the trick is, let's go ahead and learn how to do it. So, first step is understand that this is a traditional grip um, trick. It's possible to do it in a match grip, but it works a lot better in traditional grip because most of the time when you pass a stick from one hand to another, which we're going to be doing a lot of in this video, um, it ends up being, you know, the opposite of what you passed it. So a lot of match to match passes are very difficult to do because, you know, you always end up with the butt in the wrong hand um, or facing the wrong way rather. Um, so uh, we're going to do this in traditional grip. If you only know match grip, um, there is kind of a modified way you can do this, um, but for now we're just going to focus on the traditional grip. Um, so, the first thing we're going to do is take our match grip hand, take the tip, and put it underneath the armpit of your left hand or your traditional grip hand. Next thing we're going to do is take the traditional grip hand, pass the tip to your right hand, and let go and shuffle it on over. The next thing we're going to do is take our traditional grip hand and grab the stick with our wrist facing inward and our palm facing outward, okay? Then we're going to pull it out of our armpit just like that. And now you may notice we're almost back into traditional grip, so all we need to do is give this a little half toss, just like that, and there we go. So now we're back in traditional grip, and that's the first half of the cycle. So it goes tip on the right hand into the left armpit, pass the stick over, pull it out of the left armpit, and flip just like that and again it's important to note that when you pull it out of your armpit make sure you make the kind of you know Star Trek thingy so that you can grab the stick and pull it straight into traditional grip if you kind of just grab it with a fist it's gonna end up like that and not look too good um, and also remember that the wrist faces inward and the palm faces outward just like that boom so now let's learn the second half of the um, cycle the second half we take the tip on the traditional grip Put it in the right armpit, so left to right, and go ahead and do the same pass, like so. Now, what we're going to do for the match grip is we're not going to have our wrist facing inward and our palm outward, because that would pull it out in traditional grip. That's not what we want. So for this one, we're going to kind of make the shake hand thing and kind of cock it upwards to where your palm is facing inward and your wrist is facing outward. They're going to grab the stick, pull it out of the armpit, just like that. But that one is a lot more difficult than this one because you have to kind of strain your wrist a little bit to get it out and you also have to kind of flick it over. The, tr the traditional grip when you pull it out, it kind of comes downward and out. This one has to go up and around. So making sure it clears the armpit before you bring it out can be a little bit tricky, but just make sure that you have that figured out. You're going to notice once you do it that the left one, pulling it out of the armpit is a lot easier than the right one. So make sure if it helps to lift that elbow a little bit higher to make sure you can get that stick out. So again, let's go over the second half. The traditional grip, the tip of it goes into the right armpit, close down on that bad boy. Grab the stick with your left hand, basically passing it on over. Then we're going to have our wrist facing outward and our palm facing inward. We're gonna grab it, lift the elbow, and pull the stick out. Now you, all we have to do is kind of flip this around and there you go. Now on this one, when you pass it, it might be better to kind of grab towards the back since all you're going to be doing is flipping it over. The closer you grab to the tip, the closer it's going to be to the tip when you flip it over. And that might not work very well. So when you're passing the match grip to the traditional hand, try to grab it towards the back, almost in the same position where the, your hand is. So kind of overlap them a little bit. That way you grab the stick towards the back and not do one of these and grab it towards the front. That won't work very well. So, now let's go over the whole cycle one more time. So we take our match grip tip, put it in the left armpit, clamp down, pass the traditional grip tip into the matched hand, go ahead and take it, 
Now with our wrist facing inward and our palm facing outward, make the little Star Trek V, pull the stick out from underneath, and now we have to give the mash grip a flip, boom, just like that. Now the second half, take the tip of the traditional grip, put it in the right armpit, clamp down, take the tip of the match grip and pass it to the traditional grip hand. On this one, try to grab as close to the hand as possible. Now grab it with your wrist facing outward and your palm facing inward, pull it around, and flip over back to traditional grip. And again, the reason we grab close to the back is so that our traditional grip ends up in the back of the stick and not in the front of the stick like that. On the match grip time, it doesn't matter so much. Since we're doing a simple pass and we're actually flipping the stick around, it actually works better to grab towards the back versus grabbing towards the middle. Although it doesn't really matter as long as you can control your half flip as well. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do the whole side thing. Just like that. Now that we know how to do the cycle, let's go ahead and discuss how to play notes while doing the cycle. So what we're going to start with is we're going to start with a right and a left. And similar to a lot of the stick tricks where we do tosses, we're going to associate certain things like putting it in the armpit, grabbing it, all that kind of stuff is going to be done on the beat. So if we're going to do eighth notes, for example, we're going to have one and, starting with the right, so it'll be one and, and on the left, we're going to play the and of one and also put the stick in the right armpit, or left armpit, I'm sorry. So it'll be one and, just like that. And you may notice that I lift my elbow a little bit. It's not necessarily good for technique unless you're doing a molar motion, but it's to help kind of open up the armpit. So when I come down and on the end of one, so one and, it sticks in there nicely. Now what I'm going to do is grab this and play two, just like that. And you'll notice when I grab and pass, I'm going to grab the stick. So it'll be two, just like that. And the traditional grip hand comes up and grabs the armpit stick on count two as I hit the butt on the drum pad. So it'll be one and goes into the armpit, two. And then when I pull this out, I'm going to hit and. And you'll notice that on the and, I'm going to toss. So it's two and three. So downbeat. So it'll be one and goes in the armpit. Two, grabs it, and, and you flip on the end, catch it, three. So one, and, two, and, three. One, and, two, and, three. One, and, two, and, three. Now the next step, or the next half of the cycle, that downbeat that we started, that three, that's actually going to be the same hit or the same beat that the traditional grip stick goes into the armpit. So it'll be three, just like that. And then we'll go and. So we're going to pass, and on the hit, that will be the and of three. We're going to grab the armpit. And then it'll be four. And on the four, we're going to flip to the traditional grip. Four and one. So let's do that again. So we're just going to start on three. So it'll be three, armpit, and, grab the stick, four, and one. And again, on the count four is where you spin back the traditional grip. So now let's do the whole cycle. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and one. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and one. faster. One and two and three and four and one. Now you may see me kind of struggle a little bit because it's actually harder to do it at that fast of tempo. The stick has to move really quickly and holding in your armpit sure doesn't make it easy to do that. But there is a certain speed where you can play this fast and it looks impressive. So now that we know how to play one beat, how do you play two beats? Well, it's the same thing, but instead of doing one and two and, you're basically going to do one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. It's the same thing. What if you want to string it together so that you can take out the four E and a one? Because you may notice I'm doing the trick, everything's great. Okay, so we have right, left, right with no trick in between. 
So let's take out that gap so it kind of cycles around better. How do we do this? We basically change it from a 4-4 pattern to a 3-4 pattern. So we have 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 1 E. So it'll be 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and 2 and 3. So experiment with this. Um, do it as slow as you want. Do it as fast as you want. You know, maybe instead of one note or two notes, maybe you want to add three notes. I don't know, like, I don't know how many notes, maybe four, five, you know, whatever you want to do. It's up to you to, you know, experiment with this. But that's just the basic trick and how you do it. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to post a comment below and I'll be glad to answer it for you. If you'd like my channel and like my other content, I would ask you to please subscribe. That would be great. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.